Hello students, in today's video we will solve an example on sum of min terms. So our example is express the Boolean function f is equal to a or b complement c in the sum of min terms. The function has three variables a, b and c. So basically we are given with a function which is a or b complement c and we have to express in sum of min terms form. Sum of min terms means that we have to express this term in standard sum of product form. Uh, you can see from the function itself the domain of the function is a, b, c. But in the first term, which is A, variable B and C are missing. And in the second term, variable A is missing. So this term is basically in the sum of product form, but not in the standard sum of product form. To convert it in that, we have to include somehow variable b and c in the first term and similarly variable a in the second term. So therefore, how we can do it like, we will first of all take the first term. The first term is, if you will see, our first term in the function is a. Now we will, we have to somehow include b and c in it. First we will try to include variable b in it. So how can we do that? We will just use the Boolean rule b or b complement which is always equal to 1 and therefore 1 and a will be equal to a. So it's not going to make any difference to it. So therefore it will be equal to a b or a b complement. Now again c is missing. So we will again include a b c or c complement. Then again a b complement c or c complement. So this whole term will be equal to a, b, c or a, b, c complement or a, b complement, c or a, b complement, c complement. So now you can see that we have included all the three variables in the first term. So now we will try to do this on the second term. We have a variable missing from the second term. So the second term is B complement C. How can we include it? We have to just multiply it by a boolean rule a or a complement because a or a complement will be equal to 1 and multiplying it with b complement c will be again equal to b complement c okay so this will be equal to a b complement c or, or a complement b complement c Fine. So now, our final term. So combining, we will write combining combining all terms we have our given function is f is equal to a or b complement c now this will be equal to as we have converted a into 
this these terms so we will write here a b c or a b c complement or a b complement c or a b complement c complement b complement c complement okay and our next this term wherein b complement and c this is equal to now in a standard form it is equal to now a b complement c as we have converted it here so we are writing those terms a complement b complement and c okay fine so that means this is our final function so this function is basically in the standard form which we can say this is the sum of this is in the sum of min terms right but if you will you can see we have these two terms a b complement c a b complement c twice so you from the boolean law we know that a or a is always equal to a so we can just write this term only once so we will write this as a b c or a b c complement or a b complement c or a b complement c complement or a complement b complement c because we have written this term only once so therefore if you will see according to the truth table a b c is equal to 1 1 and 1 right and a b c will be equal to 1 1 c complement will be equal to 0 because in the sum of product forms in min terms simple variable is declared as 1 and the complement is declared as 0 so therefore if we will just write it in the form of zeros and ones this will be equal to this a will be equal to 1 and a complement will be equal to 0 so here a b complement c will be equal to 1 b complement means 0 c means 1 again or a means 1 b complement means 0 c complement means 0 okay again then a complement means 0 b complement means 0 and c means 1 so in terms of m values according to the truth table this is equal to m7 as already shown in the tutorial so then we have 1 1 0 which is equal to 6 m 6 then we have 1 0 1 which will be equal to 5 m 5 then we have 1 0 0 this will be equal to 4 m 4 and then we have 0 0 1 which will be equal to m 1 that means our function is if we will order this our function is m 1 or m4 or m5 or m6 or m7 so therefore we can write this 
in terms of sum of min terms as function f of a comma b comma c because the domain of the function is a comma b comma c that is equal to summation of that is equal to summation of summation of 1 comma 4 comma 5 comma 6 comma 7 okay and we can write this m small here so the function f of a b c in min terms or we can say in a sum of min terms can be expressed as m summation of 1 comma 4 comma 5 comma 6 comma 7 so this is how we can express the boolean function in the sum of min terms form thank you